Hey everyone, it's Keely here and today I'm back with day two of the 12 days of Christmas scrap lifts on Scrap Squad. Um, now today's la uh, layout is um, it's a grid layout and it's using like the um, three before cut apart cards and things. Um, I found that quite difficult to try and fit um, that onto my layout so I've decided to go with um, three by three squares instead and I've also flipped the design so that it's vertical um, down my page um, but I do try and stick with the rest of the design this just worked better for me because I scrap um, in an A4 format um, so I'm just fiddling around there with some of the um, pattern papers. I decided to go quite traditional with this page with just the red and the green. Um, and now um, I've sorted out all the um, three by three squares um, and I've attached those down as well as my photos. Now the photos that I'm using today are um, photos of TJ and Darcy and we, were, we was decorating the Christmas tree. Um, I like to capture a little photos like this because this is what Christmas is for us. Um, the kids are really involved in the preparation um, and it's a real family feel um, getting ready for Christmas. So now what I'm doing, I'm just going through the die cuts from the kit. Um, and I'm just picking out ones that are in colours that I quite like, um, that I'm you know, that'll go with the theme of the page, trying to avoid the pinks. Um, I know I've pulled in the car there, but that's just because I want to find another car or truck or something um, that would work better. Um, so I'll just pull that in for now. Um, I'm going to go through the rest of the embellishments that I have. For this layer, I do go quite embellishment heavy. Um, I treat each of the squares as their own little layout in a way. Um, so I'm just fiddling around with what I've pulled out so far, see what I like, um, what I don't like, um, and just kind of filtering through um, the embellishments of what I'm going to use and what I'm not going to use. Um, I still need to go through the stickers, the chipboard and the sticker book as well. Um, so I'm going to have a look through the stickers now. Um, I pull in a little tab piece, which I'm going to attach at the bottom there next to Darcy's photo. Um, I pull in this other wreath, um, the one from the die cuts has gold foil on and I didn't really want the gold foil on this particular layout, even though towards the end I do bring in some gold foil, but I just didn't want it on the wreath. Um, I'm going to pull in this sticker here which says Merry and this is going to form part of my title. Um, I'm just looking now at some of the, the word stickers. Um, and it really is just a case of filtering through the embellishments and seeing what will work with the page. Um, nothing kind of stays as it is now. Um, I do fiddle and move things around. Um, I found this red truck which is perfect with the Christmas tree in the back. Um, so I'm going to include that on the page. Um, I prefer this, um, the screwal. I can't say scruel, is it how you say it? Scruel? Um, well, I found this sticker and it's just facing in a better direction um, than the die cut. So now I've kind of filtered and I've picked through everything that I want to use. Um, so I'm going to start attaching some of these things down. Um, I've picked this um, burr chipboard. The burr die cut that I picked out, it had a blue scarf and I wanted to avoid that. This burr has a red one, so it ties in with the, the colours of the page. So I attach that there. Um, I'm now going to attach um, the embellishments to the corner photo. Um, and I'm just distressing the edges of certain things as well, like I did with the papers, because I really like the effect of that. Um, I'm also popping a few things upon form and a few things I'm sticking flat to the page. Um, and like I said, I'm just treating each of the squares as though they're their own little um, layout. I'm going to pop this title piece up on some form and I'm going to bring the rest of my title in shortly. Um, it is a really fun way of um, scrapping is um, like the grid format. Um, 
just because um it's a great way to use up lots of embellishments um bring in more photographs um i do with scrapping in a4 i do struggle to use um multiple photos on the page um now i'm going to use these tile stickers these are from my stash um there is two different kinds of red in this collection there's um like a deep red and also a brighter christmas red um and i wanted to bring in the brighter christmas red so i found these in my stash um from one of the simple stories um alphabet sticker books and it was the perfect shade um so i'm going to write christmas and what i do with these tile stickers um is i stick them all down onto some cardstock um this way i can try and get them quite straight um and then i cut them out and i distress the edges of that so it just looks like a sticker um once it's attached to the page so I'm just distressing the edges of that. Again, just to tie it in with um, you know, the paper edges and things that I've already distressed. Um, and it just adds different um, texture to the page and I really like the way that looks. Um, how's everyone getting on with um, the two scrap lifts we've picked so far? Um, I hope you've enjoyed the, the ones that we've picked and I hope you're looking forward to um, the ones that we've got coming up. Um, I felt like there was something missing from the top square. Um, we've got the truck and the trees and I felt like it just needed a bit of something else. So I've gone through the sticker book and I've pulled out a label sticker, um, which I'm going to cut in half and attach that to the top square. And then I'm also going to bring in a word sticker as well just to just it just needed something else and this was perfect for that so I'm going to stick that down now and then I'm going to bring in some of the gold elements um, from the chipboard um, again I just felt like the page needed a little bit of sparkle in a way you know it's a christmas page there's the twinkling of the lights on the tree um so i've brought in um three of the gold elements and that's um two of the hearts as well as um one of the snowflakes as well apologies if you can hear banging um it's coming from my neighbors next door uh, we've recently got new neighbors uh this year um and it sounds as though they're doing some DIY. So apologies for that. Um so I'm just um sticking down the word at the top. Um and I think oh my chipboard has stuck down now. Um and now I'm looking again through the sticker book because I got the extra um add-on embellishment packs. Uh, which was the sticker book and the chipboard, which you could buy extra in the shop. Um, I really had a lot to work with and um, I had to have everything. So um, I put I purchased these extra um, and I've pulled in some of the washi tape strips um, from the sticker book. Um, and I'm going to attach those in just little areas around the um, squares on the page. Um, and I pull in and add some on top of my title square as well um, and I think it just finished that off nicely um, and that's really it that's this you know it's a real simple layout um, it really is just like creating lots of mini layouts on your page um, I really hope you enjoy uh, today's scrap lift and I'll be looking forward to checking out the albums later on today. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow with day three um, and I'll have some close-ups coming up for you now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.